hello friends welcome back to code tonight this is the second part of the video how to uh, integrate google sign in in your asp.net application so in the first part we have seen how to get our google sign in credentials the secret key and the client id the, uh, we have seen how to get those now we will see how to use that in your application so uh, these are the client id and client secret that we have generated and uh, you can copy those and paste in your application and uh, we will see how we will use this authorized url in your application so i have taken a new mvc project uh, and uh, we will just uh, add one google login button into that so i will keep the button on the index page um, because this is just a sample application so i will be adding a button here it is basically anchor tag because you have to redirect to the google login so we will be saying google sign in so for implementing google sign in we will install one nugget package you have to go to manage nugget packages and here we will install google authentication so you will see this package here google authentication by shubham batra you will see that you have to install that one and this package actually helps you to um, use the google authentication in just uh, two or three easy steps so we will be using that one it will take uh, some time to install the package so by that time we will just check uh, how to set our uh, redirect url so you have to go to your web application properties and here you have to notice uh, what is your uh, project uh, port okay so you can see here it is a localhost 44315 so you have to remember that you have to use the same port here and we have given the callback url login slash google login callback now we don't have this action yet so we will add one controller here we will take a new empty mvc controller and we will name it login because we have to match the url uh, you can you can change the url on the developer console also so you don't have to actually take a new controller you can use your existing ones so now it is asking for permissions okay and that will be installing the package so you can see it has successfully installed the package uh, on the login controller we will add one new action for the callback this is the same name that we have used uh, in the url on the google developer console now we will just say return view
we will remove this one for now so on the home so first of all what you have to do is you have to add using google authentication dot services into your controller so this is the action where you have to put your google sign in button okay so we will need one redirect url here so what we have to do is we will take one variable in which you have to place your client id and then we will take one variable in which we will paste our redirect url and then we will be using google auth dot get auth url now this is the method from the package and it will require two parameters so first one is client id that we will pass and second one is the url now we don't have values here so we will get the values you will get the client id from here so i have this uh, ready on the notepad so i will copy from here the client id and the url will be this now remember that uh, if you don't keep the url same then it will never work so this is the basic requirement that you have to keep same url now this response will be having a url on which you have to redirect when you will click on google sign in button so what we will do is we will just use a view back for sending the data on the view side now we will go on the index and here we have taken the button so we will put a href tag and we will just use the same view back and you can even open the url in the new tab so we will just see how it works so now we will see it have client id client url and in the response you will see it has generated one url and and we have sent the url through the view bag on the view and we have taken one anchor button there so this is the anchor button here and if you click this one it will redirect to google account but now we have to do the second step here so now you have to go to the action which you have written as a redact url and we will come here again we will take that async because the method we will need are uh, async ones so here remember you will always receive a code parameter when you will Uh, complete your authentication and uh, it will redirect to this application it will always have the code parameter now again we will do something like we will need client id now you can place your variables uh, according to you in the web config and uh, this is just a, a sample code so you can change that thing we will need the url we will need the client secret also this time so we will put all these values
and client secret is available in the google developer console so this is the client secret uh, i will copy it from notepad to avoid the spaces or something extra now since we have all the three things ready now the first step is to get the authorization token and for this we will use google auth we have to add the google authentication dot services here also so now we will add google auth dot get auth access token and it will require some parameters uh, code client id client secret and redirect uri so code is from the parameters then we will get client id then we will set client secret and then the url so this will return back the authorization token and and that authorization authorization token we will need in the next step so in the next step we will be getting the user profile from the token so this is again a await method so we will use google auth dot get profile response async and it also needs the token now token is not this one directly you have to do token dot access token and then the to string here so this is the token that we have got from previous step so we will pass that and in the user profile you will notice you have got all the details of the user so we will check this and we will run the application So this is the first step it will run then you will see a button there you will click on that one and it will redirect and we will select one account and now see it has got on the redirect URL you can see we have got one code here and now if you move next then in the authorization access token we have passed that code client ID client secret and URL and it will get back the token from google so now we have got the token we can actually pass that token here in the next step and you will see we have got back our uh, user profile so this is how you can use uh, this nugget package from uh, by downloading this nugget package you can install and integrate your google authentication so these are just the simple steps uh, now if you want uh, to get the source code then uh, one simple step you can do is you can go to google you can search for codetonight.com that is our website and here you will find the code for google sign in and you can just open that one and you can just download the attachments from here and you can even check uh, our step by step uh, code for that one so if you have any complaint there then you you can just comment on the article or you can even comment on the video and uh, let us know if you have any suggestions or if you have any confusions we will try to help you out so this is how you can integrate google sign in successfully in your application thanks for watching yeah.